our project is stock market price prediction using rnn and lstm first i am showing the running process of this project first copy our file parts and next open anaconda prompt change the directory and paste our file part here now type jupyter notebook Now Jupyter Notebook is open on Chrome. Okay, this is our home page. It have source code, readme file and data set. This is our source code. Now I am showing this. Okay. This is our source code. Data of the content is first I am loading the data and split the data as train and validation and create train test data set from train split and normalizing and future scaling and after that creating x train and y train from train data set and creating single rnn in this project we used two models rnn and lstm and evaluate our model and future price prediction these are the content of this project First, I am loading uh, my data set. Before that, I import some libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, OSRanks, and Warnings. Warnings user for filter our warnings. It just ignore the warnings. Here, I am loading my data set. Now, I am showing my data set. This is my data set. And data dot head means it's showing head of the data. Just first five one, first five data. And our data set info. It's showing the data set types, values, and null values. After that, I'm just splitting the data set for validation and training purpose. So first I am splitting uh, my data set. Data set length is 247 and train data set length is 173 and validation data set length is 74. After this, I just train my data set. So it's just showing our data set. And this is validation data set. And creating train data set from train split. So shape is 173 and 173 rows and one column. And future scaling. In future scaling, we predict the future values. So I am using SQL and pre-processing library files for find the max mini scale up. So it's just splicing data sets and I showing the plot depends on open price and date as 
first second third like this after that i'm just creating x train and y train from train data so it have 1184 prices corresponding 1184 days my aim main aim of this project is to predict the open price of the next day so we can spend 15 days to first I just uh, take only 15 days alone. So reshape the our data set. In next train it have 123 rows and 15 columns. In y, y train it have only 123 rows alone. And after reshape it have 123 rows to feed and one in x train reshape and y train reshape it have 123 and 1 now i'm showing the x train 0th index in array format it check the first items in y train it's a prediction of 15th day and my uh, after that i'm just showing the y train 0th index it see arrays and after the data preprocessing it split the data after that it just implement our model in this project we are using two models simple rnn and lstm so first i am implementing rnn model after that i evaluate the model and then i implement second model lstm after that i'll just evaluate the lstm model so first I am creating RNN model. Before that I am importing libraries and initialize the RNN. In here I am just adding first RNN layers and second RNN layers and dropout regularization and third RNN layer and fitting the RNN layer. So here I take X train, Y train and approach value is 50 and batch size is 32. So it shows the loss and accuracy of this model. So this is loss and this is our model accuracy. It's very and evaluating model is second step. So depends on loss. So history dot history loss. So it see arrays format and plotting the loss versus approach. This is loss and this is our approach. So I am just plotting the one graph. Depends on loss versus approach. So this is that graph. After that, I plotting another one graph depends on accuracy versus approach. So here yeah, I take approach in X label and accuracy in Y label. So this is our final plot. After that, model prediction for train data set is next step. So I am just taking the Y prediction from regressor prediction x train this is prediction section so it just predicts values in this uh, data set have 123 rows and one columns and y train i just take the y train and this also have 123 rows and one so after that i just visual the data predicted data set so this is our prediction, Y prediction and Y train. So blue color is Y prediction and uh, green color is Y train. After that I creating test data set from validation data. 
here I converting arrays and scaling. After that, I just creating x test and y test and convert to the array and reshape the data. After that, I evaluate and with validation data. So this is a final evaluation for RNN. So I just float one visualization graph and another one graph. So next I'm implementing second algorithm LSTM. So this is the evaluation part. So you just evaluate the model versus up approach and days versus open price and future price prediction in future price prediction we predict the future values so I give some data so it give the output for future prediction and it take 123 rows and one column and the LSTM prediction in LSTM, in LSTM prediction I plot another one uh, graph so this is the graph we will see the train predict and validation data for LSTM diagram and finally it shows the final prediction of this project and uh, in final prediction it depends on RNN prediction and LSTM prediction. In RNN prediction, we just load the predictions x input uh, regressors model, RNN regressor, and LSTM prediction, we just uh, load the x input in LSTM prediction so that it gives the future prediction like this. So, output is RNN open price prediction for 3 18 2017 is 2888.8462 and LSTM prediction open price prediction for 3 18 2017 is 2839.1438 this is our final prediction. Thank you.